good morning everybody welcome you are most welcome to my digital classroom your spoken english class as usual i will read a very simple story today and listen to it carefully very carefully and try to understand it i know you can understand it you have immense possibilities as usual i will read a very simple story today listen to it carefully and try to understand it see if you can but i know you can i won't tell you the name of the story now at the end you will get the name of the story and the moral the story the moon was shining very bright one night when a lean half stuffed wolf whose ribs were almost sticking through his skin chanced to meet a plump well-fed house dog after the first compliments they had been passed between them the wolf inquired how is it cousin dog that you look so sleek and contented try as i may i can barely find enough food to keep me from starvation alas cousin wolf said the house dog you live too irregular a life why do you not walk as steadily as i do i would gladly walk steadily if i could only get a place said the wolf that's easy replied the dog come with me to my master's house help me keep the thieves away at night gladly said the wolf for as i am living in the woods i am having a sorry time of it There is nothing like having a roof over one's head and a belly full of victuals always at hand. Follow me, said the dog. While they were trotting along together, the wolf spied a mark on the dog's neck. Out of curiosity, he could not forbear asking what had caused it. Oh, there's nothing much, replied the dog. Perhaps my collar was a little tight. The collar to which my chain is fastened. Chain? cried the wolf in surprise you don't mean to tell me that you are not free to roam where you please why not exactly said the dog somewhat sympathetically you see my master thinks i am a bit fierce and ties me up in the daytime but he lets me run free at night it really is very convenient for everybody i get plenty of sleep during the day so that i can watch better at night I really am a great favorite at the house. The master feeds me off his own plate, and the servants are continually offering me hands out from the kitchen. But wait, where are you going? As the wolf started back towards the forest, he said, Good night to you, my poor friend. You are welcome to your changes and your chains. And as for me, I prefer my freedom to your fat. The name of the story is the house dog and the wolf the moral lean freedom is better than fat slavery <laughs>